Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how you can animate a still photo, make it look like a picture is talking or, or moving around, making facial expressions. It's pretty easy to do if you start with the right software. Let me give you an example. What you're seeing on the screen here is a photo of Mona Lisa, and it's overlaid with some graphics. Ignore these graphics, but watch what happens when I click play. Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to animate faces like you see on the screen. As you can see, I've animated the face. I've added lip movement. I've even added head and eye movement. And like I said in the video, it's pretty easy to do if you start with the right software. And the software that I started this project with is called Crazy Talk. It's an animation tool from Real Illusion. It's a $29.95 program, and it's amazing the things you can do. Now, if you're interested in Crazy Talk, you can go to their website, which is realillusion.com slash crazy talk. You can download the demo, and you can do some of the things I've shown right here. Now, I'm going to show you how to animate with Crazy Talk. So what we'll do is we'll click Create. We'll click Import Image, and I'm going to import this Mona Lisa that we're using a moment ago. Now, there's the image right there, and the first thing you have to do is use the Crop tool to define the head region. This is going to be the region that you want to use in your video. So we're going to select the Crop tool. And I'm going to select about this much of Mona Lisa. And I can move that around if I want to get just what I want. I like that, so I click Apply. And then I click Next. And on this, it says adjust the positions of the four control points so that you can have the eyes and mouth line up. And you do that just by moving the numbers over to the corresponding numbers in this little image right there. So there's her mouth. And this allows Crazy Talk to know where the mouth is so that they move it. Then we click Next. And then here we align the facial wireframe by dragging, rotating, and scaling the facial points. That means we're going to put this so it has her face in it. And you can move this around to get different effects. I'm also going to adjust her eyebrows so that her eyebrows are in the right place. And her eyes are in the right place. Her lips and mouth are in the right place. When we get it the way we want, we click Next. And here it says Rotate Mask to Fit Head Orientation. And I need to line up her nose like that and click OK. Now what I want to do is I want to test this. Now there's a couple of ways you can test it. You can click the voice script over here and import some of the voices here just to see what it's going to sound like. Or you can do what I did a moment ago and that's to click animation and record audio. When you record the audio it'll lip sync it for you. So when I play this Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip I'm going to show you and you see it comes out pretty good. Now you can also add things like bragging and cold shivering and avoidance. You can also add different types of motion. If you're blinking or eyes closed or jump right, you can add that anywhere you want. And it's pretty nice all the things you can do. You can also go into edit mode and edit your timeline. And we'll do, click with the window link and come down to timeline. It brings up the timeline. It shows the audio that we have. We can move the audio around. It shows you the things that are going on. So I can remove that movement if I want. I've got the default talk mode right there. I can add different clips, different effects. Let's add a hiccup right there. Yeah. And you see a, yeah. time, a hiccup right there on the yeah. timeline. Anyway, there's a lot you can do with this program. If you don't want to import a picture of your own, you can go to the file library and they have a library full of different projects and actors. And you can import these actors and use them as the animated image if you like. But again, you can import photos and they work just as well. Anyway, this program is Crazy Talk and you can download the free trial and play with it the way I've done it here. Or you can buy it for $29.95. Thought you might be interested in knowing about this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.